Hello, and welcome to A Guide to True Survival. This is our first Fortnite on this playthrough, and we're probably going to be pretty safe. We're up here on the uh, roof, and uh, we'll have to worry about birds, so that's going to be kind of a problem. Um, I have my mining helmet, that's good. That's what I got last episode. Um, we tried to make this our horde base, but it's kind of tricky when it's uh, cement this early end of the game. Those stairs, I couldn't break them apart, so there's four staircases. Wouldn't work. Um, next horde uh, base uh, will be that one because we'll. Here we go. Um, you know, we think. So basically, I think my plan for this particular horde night is to camp out on this here building. It's made out of concrete, so it's very much. Uh, secure, um, but the zombies will be able to break apart the walls to get inside, which is great because I want to get inside early game too. Um, so that allows me to get in there, and uh, you know, eventually I'll also be able to break the walls down a little bit easier with a sledgehammer. Get the building with concrete um, skills. So. Um, we have pretty much filled up our stuff, but we have supplies for the night. One of the things I totally forgot, which is lame, was my bedroll. I should have put a bedroll up here because, from what I can recall, my bedroll is all the way back over there, so... We're gonna have to be kind of cautious here. So the game stage is 22. How does it ever sound quiet? Um, this building, I think, is completely overkill for this Horde Knight, which is great, though. Um, and this one might actually serve you for quite a long time, um, because the cement is all pretty safe and sound here. Um, so, yeah. But basically, I'm, I spent a lot of my resources out uh, in the last little bit here with uh, fighting that last Horde. Um... And, but I mean, I have wooden javelin. Oh, I should have also mentioned that um, you get more feathers by using your bone shiv. I don't, I totally forgot to use it on those buzzards or the vultures. And um, that will give you a much better return on what you get there. So, anyway, we're going to get some more arrows and that'll be good. Um, we might be not getting any birds this time. That would be, that would be quite pleasant. Uh, campfire, craft. It kind of would have been nice to have some more stuff up here. Iron sledgehammer. So I think I, I guess I did bring it, so that's good. So let's see, this is the one that is right for this, yeah? So 54 versus, oh, we're gonna have to repair. No, you know what? They're both kind of around the same. Uh, like 20... So yeah, this is the thing you would use to break this down. Though, what I think I'm going to do is end up building a... Um, uh, is it a sledge? We'll just look at mold. Because that is a much better way to go. Lumold! We don't need a lumold. Come on, game. Hammerhead! Um... Sledge mold. So, concrete sledge or an iron sledgehammer. So we can make, we can start working on these, and that will get us uh, everything for that. We can build more of them in the future. Uh, do we bring our grill? Yes, but we don't have any clay. So that's going to be one of the things that we start this week. Is we're going to build a forge and get a bunch of iron tools happening if we can. Um, it's a little bit tricky because I think iron tools unlocks actually at a pretty high level 25 right so you can't actually do much with it right away you can make all the, all the bolts I think no never mind sorry my, my mistake it's been a, been a bit of a time since I've done this uh, player level 15 25 um, so there's not really like a whole lot to do um, I might just keep looking through my skills here, and we'll probably come back. But yeah, um, other plans are keep looting this building, because we need a wrench to break down some things. Um, 
some hammers. Hammers will probably be the next best thing. There's lots of wooden houses, and so we can use that to get our uh, quests. I think we'll do a number of quests as well, because like some of these are not too bad. Um, clean some water. Like we'll just kind of start working our way through some of these, I guess. Empty cans, boil water. Yeah. Learning to farm. This one is a big one. Um, we are in, I think this is a proper winter biome. If not, we'll have to find the right kind of trees. Um, some of which can be found in loot, so that's fine. Um, Alright, I'm going to place this down. Just, I'm just going to get ready to kind of do the Horde Knight, like live, or whatever. Or no, maybe do that. And I think... I will cut back uh, when we have something fun happening, crazy happening, or if I find some fun skills or something to talk about. But other than that, I'm just going to hang out here, and then in the morning, we'll take a look at me, whatever's on the inside of this building. I know there's one gun safe in a steel locked room somewhere in one of the corners. can't remember. This is the front, so I think it's in that back corner over here. If we were to stand here, it would probably increase the chances that they would rip this apart, but hard to see what's out here. But it seems like a pretty calm horde night. Which is good. Anyway, I will see you guys in a minute. So we just finished uh, the quest for getting, breaking down food types uh, into different things. I think that must have been the first veggies I found? I don't know. Maybe I just did enough of them. Okay guys, I can buy this um, Iron Club, which is a good one to get, because we're going to be able to build um, an anvil soon, I believe. Anvil, two point, play level five. We're going to need that. Um, forge, five points, player level ten. So we can do that as of uh, yes, well today, yesterday, kind of thing. The last time we played. Um, those is we get from. Uh, one of these skills, and I'll be back in a sec. Um, okay, here's so here's something. Um, we have the screwdriver, and we can actually repair it once we have uh, a couple of things. Once we grab, say, like this, and this, we, our repair option is not a thing, but we have, you know, repair scrap steel. We have the scrap steel. Um, but we can't actually do any repairing on it until we have got the screwdriver skill. So once you buy it, then you can repair it. So And you also get a mold as well, so I'm going to buy it because I have it. Um, small bed, I do want to build a, a number of these, so I'm probably going to buy this because they help you heal. So, though there's enough in that building over there that it's alright, but I was thinking that for Horde Knights, I can put them on the roofs. This way, if you're running around or you have an extended base, you can go from building to building um, and do it that way. Have I shown you guys that... Oh, snow. That scared me. You can build um, spike traps out of these bone shivs if you have ten of them. So, that's kind of a fun little thing you can do. I'm just making these so I can get my skill better at it. Hmm. This is probably a good one to get to, uh, to be honest. Fixer. Um, cause yeah, it definitely makes things faster. Um, I'm gonna keep looking for other ones. Ah, uh, well, never mind. We have this is probably one of the most important ones: is, is sexual tyrannosaurus. Um, cause yeah, it gives you so much more ability to fight. At least for me, cause I do lots of the melee. So maybe you may not want to if you're much more of a, a sort of a long range kind of person. But for me, this one is super important. Uh, but it would probably also help too if you're getting stung by spiders and stuff, because it gives you just that extra little boost, which might allow you to survive better. I'm gonna wait for better blunt weapon skills, so I might have to just focus on doing that with one of these nights, or maybe even the rest of the night. Um, what else we have here? I should probably buy the red candles, but I don't know. I go a headlight now, so we'll see. Bad mechanic. This is actually a good one to buy because then you get more stuff as you're harvesting. So, and that helps with uh, your early tools stuff. So, 
I'll buy that. Oh, well, kind of been contemplating buying this early game too. Um, I have to find a generator first, which I actually haven't really found too many of, but uh, it does look like I could theoretically buy and build that. Um, I was thinking I'm probably going to be just skipping uh, the animal hide armor uh, and moving straight on to scrap iron, and why not? Because it seems to be the easier way to go for me. I don't get hit too often. Um, can generally get up that high fairly early on. Um, the reason I don't buy log tips is because earlier on, just for the first week, it's a bit hard to find the planks, but now that I have the, the hammer, I can probably do that pretty soon. Um, all of these ones are based off of uh, going through the quest, so that's what we're going to do soon. Battery bank, could buy that. Don't really have a way to charge it though. Yeah, so that's pretty much all the skill I have, and it's almost morning, so I'll see you in 15 in-game minutes. Okay, that brings us to morning time. Uh, we are pretty well off. And let me just figure out about the hammer here. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Um, claw hammer, you can just start making them right off the bat. So, um, I don't think we're going to do much else. Um, this is built in the forge or the blacksmith thing thing and a wrench. Yeah, so you, I think you can also build wrenches right off the bat too, but you just need to find one to make a mold. So, uh, anything in here that I really need? Not really, I can probably come back to get this when I need it. I'll bring the claw hammer though. Uh, we're gonna leave this here for now because we'll build that up soon. And what else are we gonna leave here? Anything? Hmm. Oh, not really. Could bring a few more things with us, to be honest. Uh, things we're gonna use more on our main base. It's just an outpost of, you know, surviving the horde night. Okay, so that was. You know, fairly simple here. I thought I came up this side. Shut up. Bike. They must have just broke down my way I came up. Alright. Um, I had... There it is. Okay. So, I should get my spear. My bat is nearly gone. Ugh. No. We're gonna get rid of one of these shivs. Okay. So, okay, who do we have left alive down here? Um, do they even break anything? It's like a super, super tame Horde Knight. Okay, so like a crawler like broke a little bit of that corner. <laughs> oh, here we go. So they are in there. Um,. Sleeper. Okay, cool. So we have a, a little bit of stuff open. We'll come back to that. I just don't see much point fighting them right now. So, um, yeah, basically we just need to get to that sledgehammer and we'll be pretty good, right? So, um, sledgehammer, concrete sledge. Oh, I can actually buy this. No, no, no. I think I can make it already, probably. Concrete sledge is pretty easy to craft. Okay, anyway. So, we're going to have to find out how much materials we have and move some of them into here. This place is going to need to be sleeper proofed, which is going to be tricky. Um, because they, you know, have lots of locations to spawn in. Okay, um, let's put some stuff away here. Oh yeah, it's also, oh, we get to use our, uh, wonderful cigars. It does reduce your wellness, but for me, it's a tradition. I survived the Horde Night, so there we go. 
don't have a humidor, so I guess we'll just put it in the fridge. <laughs> I don't think that's a good way to do cigars, but um, well, that's all right. Get rid of this cobweb, they're not good for anything. Okay, guys, I have pretty much things put away. Um, I kind of want to put my bat away, too. Uh, so, yeah, I really want to use it, but can't. Shouldn't. Um, oh, we have some kind of horde happening somewhere. Hopefully we don't have to just get out of here. Not sure, it must be out front. Yeah, they're going out front or something. Which is fine. Um, okay, let's see what other junk we had laying around here. I'm sort of on the lookout for the clothing and stuff that I had. Because um, I need to make an actual, like, bed roll, like a bed roll, so that I can just keep hanging out here. Bring those this time. Because, yeah, when I went through here, I didn't really, like, actually gather anything up. Oh, what it is, this book. Okay, we already know that one. Uh, I think if we scrap it, we'll get some interesting pages. Oh, that looks like just paper. Hmm, okay, so that one's no good. Um, I need this for a skill, or for a quest, so we're gonna keep that. Scrap that. Can eat this, but I think I would save it actually for medicine things. Um, so yeah. Paintings, I know this one, yeah. Sewing needle, we want that so we can make some more suture kits. Uh, I might actually throw the paper in here, because I don't really need it. How many shivs we have? Recipes. Good. Craft. Clear up our inventory. We'll take this now. Empty medicine cabinet. Cool. So... I think there's enough cans now to... finish off the one quest of clean some water. Yeah, two. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. So we're gonna get some uh, murky water off of... I uh, don't think we can do it from the toilet, so... Unless he added that back in, did he? No. So, yeah, we have to go back to the hotel or whatever over there. Duct tape. I need more glue. Really? Lots of food. I feel like eating, you know, toilet rats. <laughs> Drown out or something. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. Guess you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, right? But. Okay, we gotta double check that on the lower floors that the ladder is broken out. Okay, so I'm gonna go put this over there. Uh. And we will keep proceeding forward. Okay, so time to go up a floor. I don't think I'm going to do it over here, though. To be honest, uh, it sounds like the, those zombies are out there too much. Can I look out this window and just see what the heck's going on? Alright, so we have uh, some random zombies out there. Maybe we can get them. I shoot through a glass pane? Well, I can now. That destroyed my wonderful slide. Okay, so now... Now they can see me. Don't really want to be hunted, so... I'm gonna go up a floor and do some more looting, or capturing of the building. Trying to take note of like where the zombies are spawning in, because oh, there is an entrance over to that side. Okay, cool. I want to collect these trash things too, that way I can put stuff in places. So basically, I'm just gonna be going through here looking for wrenches. Okay, so on on there. Seriously, you can spawn on that. All right. Yeah. 
Just have to wait for the right moment. She's pretty strong. Oh, right in the back, but that sucks. Didn't load fast enough. I hate when it doesn't quite get over to the right thing. Especially when you're in the middle of a fight. My fault for not looking at it, but. Should I actually repair this? And I'll have to make a bunch more soon. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna have to go out hunting. Um, yeah, I'll be back when I find something cool. Whoa, guys, look at that. That's a pretty good find, eh? So, yes, yeah, I'm, yeah, basically just going to keep on, oh, yes, going through here and um, finding what I can find. I think the plan will be to sort of finish looting the place. Uh, can I pick this up? Probably with my screwdriver. Cloth. Perfect. Mm hmm So, yeah, I'll probably have to go out and get some clay so that I can build my hammer mold, and then um, I might actually also build some more some uh, brick hammers, and then, you know, start taking some things apart. Still got my fever. Okay, this is a weird room. Hay bales with armor on them. <laughs> so you can take apart these uh, shelves with the screwdriver, just as so, to get a bunch of scrap metal. So that's a pretty good deal overall, and um, which you can use for everything else. So, hooray! Um, now I believe that if you want to combine things, you're going to need to use a bullet press. So, keep that in mind. Um, wellness juice is actually, or this is fruit juice, has a bit of a boost in that win the wellness and um, 40 stamina 20 hydration so it's pretty good um, it's just fruit juice so fruit juice which is crafted with fruit but you need um, cooking level 2 so just keep that in mind and veggie juice must be similar but I'm guessing because you, you probably need the workstation for it uh, which hopefully we can build soon um, yeah, let's see if we can do that sometime right away, too. Oh, we have a sneaky zombie here. So sneaky, in fact. Let's see if we can brain her from... Right there. Maybe? Maybe we did it? So we're gonna have to put some sort of thing in front of this door here, because we know that there's something that spawns here. Big... Empty room. Oh, man, you had a gun? Nice. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll drop a shiv. This means I should probably head downstairs and, um, ditch some stuff. Probably end up making this room more my main base because, um, it's right above the one where I was living in. Okay, let's put up let's put a bit of a spike there, just one of these little ones here. Hopefully that'll stop them uh, spawning there, because uh, that would be good for us. Oh, glue is very important for building pretty much everything we need. Um, let's drink this just as is. Hopefully that cools us down a bit. Yeah, good. That's even better. Okay guys, uh, by breaking down enough of those um, sofas and stuff, I've managed to get enough to build a 
Wonderful bedroll. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna put it down... Hmm, I think I'm actually gonna put it in the floor above this one, because this one is gonna be right next to the ground floor, which could get, you know, taken apart by the zombies. But if I put it in here, it's sort of like a little, um, secondary room. Um, I don't know... I did put that there, but I don't really know if that's gonna cut it. So anyway, we'll make this room more comfy as time goes on, because this is gonna be our actual base. It seems like the perfect building. I don't quite know what you guys are gonna be able to find in your games, but hopefully you find something secure. Um, even there are certain houses, probably three or four stories high, that are really good, so just keep it in mind, so... Oh, cobwebs. Oh, look, there's water in this one, guys. That's awesome, that means we can have some water to live off of in this building. Oh, glue, nice. Trash can. Should they be searching all those. Scrap those down for cloth. Take apart these crooked bed or crooked things here. Um. Yeah, so basically, yeah, I'm just gonna keep searching this building up. I mean, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Um. You know, I'll probably find something cool in here. My fever will be done, actually, pretty soon. So, right, we do want to do a mission with these, which means we need to go get some water. Maybe I'll just finish up with that. Um, so yeah, basically this building is just, you know, by the rinse repeat of this whole thing here. We're just going to keep going up and up and up. Um, so actually, I was curious. Let's just quickly take a look how this connects to the other side here as well, and then we're gonna go get finish up this um, creating water or whatever one. My guess is that the staircase will be just on the other side of this, or maybe this will be a hallway. Oh, it's unlocked. Yeah, look at that. So this is just the complete mirror image. Except this side's a lot more fungusy. <laughs> okay, whatever. Whoa! Okay, so this is what happens when you have, you know, hordes come through. They break everything. And this is why I'm choosing this building. Because they can do this. I don't really care. They can break this bottom floor right apart. And it's going to be A-OK -okay with me. I mean, you know, we've already searched it for the most part. Got what we wanted. Um, I guess they went out this way. You know, all that we have to really do is just make sure that it's... Um, the bottom floor is able to support its structure up there, and we're good. Um, they can rip the bottom part right apart. Okay, let's uh, figure out which quest this is, and then we'll finish this off here. Clean some water. Set this to our thing, because it's just, yeah. We have our cans, and we just need to boil them. It's super simple. So, we're just going to do it. Oh, those zombies must have came right through here and wrecked my little spike belt. That's okay. Okay, so over here to get some water. No zombies. Got our water. Um, let's see here. Do I have? I don't think I even have anything set up here. So, or if I do, it's not a big deal. So we'll just go do this upstairs, and that's fine. Hey, look, we're out of uh, our fever now, so that means we'll probably get pretty frickin' cold. Oh, look, they broke through this, too. I didn't even notice when I was here. Huh. That one, that corner I'm a little bit concerned about, actually. I would repair the actual corner block and then leave some other ones open, but uh, we'll get to it. Maybe we should actually do a bunch of brick breaking first break all the bricks that we think uh, they might basically just create a path for them to go through um, so maybe I'll do that bit on my own and I'll show you what I accomplish um, basically I'm just gonna make a uh, a brick hammer which is just um, five stone um, plant fiber or well fiber rope and uh, wooden branch so yeah we'll do that and where is the um, uh, da -da 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 food prep station table um plank snails yeah like we got basically all this stuff now we're pretty much good to go 
Um, we need a handsaw, I guess, which is kind of a bugger. So we'll have to do a lot of looting still. That's, you know, that's how it is. So let's finish this quest. Boiled water, let's just do them all. I'm probably gonna, after I finish this, scrap this. But this is a good point that, you know, just another reminder that if you have cans, but no bottles early on in the game, you can use them to get water. So, uh, isn't that it? I probably need these in my inventory. There we go. Quest completed. Fantastic. So one, two, three, four, that can hold those fine. I don't really have a place for all these. Anyway, I guess that I will probably see you guys in the next episode here. Let's finish this up. Do one. Turn it off. Great. So, all right, guys, if you like this episode, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. We are going to be back um, soon. Be, I'll take another day to uh, do some stuff. What I'm going to do is build myself some molds, I think. I'm going to get some uh, clay and we're going to make some molds. I'll make a couple with you, but I'll probably do one for the hammer by myself. But we'll go through how to make a hammer next episode. Um, because, you know, I'm going to need it to... I'm going to probably pull apart some building. Or maybe I'll build a brick hammer and go with one of these cement... Or these brick buildings around us here. Because uh, there's a lot of them. So, alternatively... Yes, wood is pretty good, so probably just go with that. There's a lot of wood buildings around us, so that'll be good. Um, yeah, so... Beyond that, we should also think about making a food preparation station. So I'll try to get everything together for all that kind of stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying your true survival experiences. Bye-bye.